Compass Minerals International, Paul, a CMP. Now, this is hilarious, Paul. $2.1 billion market cap, another small one. I like it. The PE the, ratio is a little high, 26. So Not, not terrible, there. though. Okay. Not awful. Profit margin, though, negative 0.74. The last quarter, they lost 0.74%. But in the last year, their profit margin is about 6%. So still an X. Mm. How about pillar number three is revenue growth over the past five years, Paul? A billion one, a billion 140, a billion 360, a billion five, a billion five. So there's definitely a check mark there. How about profit growth? Pillar number four, Paul. 159. 162, 43, 69, 63. X right there. Their revenue is up 50%, but their profit's down. Their revenue went from a billion one to a billion five, up 40%, and their profit's down from 160 to 60. Down. So this is a kind of a red flag about it. We have to look at that. Pillar number five is number of shares outstanding, Paul. This is an X, uh -oh. barely. 33.68 to 33.88. So it is an X, barely, but they are going up every single year in terms of number of shares outstanding. A lot of Xs here, but this is, might be an example of one that has a lot of Xs that we're not saying, that we're not necessarily saying no to. Pillar number six is current assets greater than current liabilities for this company. 685 million versus 301 million. So they have plenty on hand to pay their current bills. What I about like to what about total liabilities, Paul? The total liabilities is 1.8 billion. Wow. We don't have enough to pay that off. It's a lot, but we don't know if it's a lot. I mean, what, what's that debt comprised of? I have no idea. They have a billion five in revenue and 1.8 billion in liabilities. It doesn't seem like a ton. I don't know. I mean, these are things that to look at as ratios and thinking, understanding that. I don't know if this, th these in and of itself will not tell me if it's good or bad. It's about talking about industry, understanding the industry, understanding the 10K. Pillar number seven is free cash flow growth over the past five years. And I won't screw up the calculation this time, buddy. Negative 80, negative 15, 37, then 37, plus 37, plus 90, plus 60. It's 92 total divided by five is 18. Guys, this is a tough one for me. The free cash flow is bad. It's an I mean, it's increasing because it went from negative. So there's a check mark there, but the multiple is a big X. You need to understand what's going on here. I don't know how they're generating their cash flow. I'm not saying yes or no to this one. You got to do a lot more research. If you like the idea of the company, then go for it. This is not one that makes me scream, yes. And it's not one that makes me go, no. If I were leaning anywhere, I'd be more no than yes. I think there's probably better opportunities out there in other companies because the free cash flow is just garbage. Averaging 19 a year. Even last year's 80, 20 times that is a billion six. It's still overpriced. So I'm still not a buyer, even based on one year's cash flow. But this one has such inconsistent cash flow, you don't want to take one year and just deal with it.